Hi guys, so I'll continue on with this question, okay? So, over here on the left hand side, what we've just drawn this pyramid, okay? That's called an auxiliary view, okay? So you have an elevation, a plan, and now this is an auxiliary view, okay? So what we need to do now is put in the plane that cuts through our pyramid up in this auxiliary view, okay? So, on my XY line here, from T, I'm gonna measure out very simple distance of 20 millimeters. Okay, I'll call it point P there. I'm now gonna take that at 45 degrees, parallel to the rest of the lines I've taken up to the auxiliary. Okay. So, I have my HT coming up along here. They're in a single point on this auxiliary. So now I need one extra point and I'll draw a line coming up which will be my plane, okay? So, from point P now, you take a vertical line, okay? It hits the plane there. I'm gonna measure that distance. That distance for me is 12 millimeters, okay? So, from here, from P, I'm gonna come up 12 mil. Mark that right there, okay? I'm actually going to draw it in red here now. So if I join my HT line to this point and extend it out, that now gives me an edge view of the plane cutting through the pyramid. Okay. So if you can see here now, it cuts number one going up to the zero right there. It cuts two and four right here, and it cuts three right here. So what I can do now is I can heavy them up. Okay. So I'll just put these in in dotted lines now because in theory, these have been cut off. You know, anything above the red line has been cut and taken away. Now, very simple now guys. We're gonna take these straight back down to the plan, okay? So take where it hits one. You can see down here now, it strikes to one here. And do the same for three. Okay. What you'll see guys, is you will not be able to do it for two and four because they're all same, they're all parallel. So if I put my 45 down, it's gonna be parallel. I have no idea where the two and the four are supposed to be struck. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm going to measure the distance from the ground up to where the red line strikes through two and four. And on my drawing here, that's 34 millimeters. Okay. So if I come up here, my elevation, mark where 34 is and do a, a light line across there. Okay. I know now that it strikes three here, or sorry, two, and it strikes four here okay so using those two points in the elevation I'll be able to bring them straight down okay four here and two down here at the bottom okay so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to join these together. One, two, three, four. So you can see now in blue, I have the cut surface where it cuts through the pyramid. Okay. So now that's the plan. Obviously I want to put it into the elevation. I already have two and four in the elevation. So now I need to get points one and three. So how do I do that? As before, the same thing as what we've done before. From point one, okay. 
we take it back up at 45 degrees, which is parallel to the HT line, okay? Okay. Take it straight up and where it hits the vertical trace, you bring it back in. So that's point number one. And we'll do the same now for number three. So three comes up. Here crosses here. Sorry, I just need to check a measurement there. Sorry, I was getting distracted by the X1 line. So three goes back to here. It goes straight up, till our vertical trace, and straight back across. So that's point three. So if I join all of them together, and that's how it ends up, guys. The cut surface and the elevation as well. Okay, so that's it done. So go ahead and try and get that done. Thank you.